to the science center, then to our library, and then a dorm, and then come back here. We'll keep going. So first of all, welcome to our campus. Um, it really looks like a winter wonderland here. I'm actually loving it. Um, um, but Wellesley was founded in 1870 as a liberal arts college for women. And we'll talk more about what liberal arts colleges mean and what a women's college experience is like. But really the focus at Wellesley is on creating an inclusive environment that anyone can come and have like a successful educational experience that's accessible to all. Um, of course, our student body looks a lot different than it did in the 70s, but those founding principles of creating opportunities for underrepresented people is really something that has carried through throughout all the years. very large but most of the buildings that you need to go in are very close together it's about like a 10-15 minute walk from one side of the other so that 500 acres is made up of our light like, yeah, yeah. so this building right here is the Davis Museum we have a big time to this we are very lucky to have a museum on our campus. If you're interested in working for the museum, tour uh, guide, or you're interested in curating, some of the we do hire some workers all the time. And it's open and free to all students to do a uh, nice go. It is closed right now for renovations, but hopefully by the time you come here, it will be open and you can. I have really enjoyed this. We're heading up right now to the academic quad, which is our main academic area, as well as the science center. So as we come up here, you can look inside these rows. This is the Jewish Art and Music Center, and as you can see, with all of these music practice rooms, one of the things I'd like to point out is that if you're interested in learning an instrument, or you do play an instrument, or a spin, you can take private lessons for free um, as part of a music class that you take here, or as part of a music major or minor, <laughs> which is really fun. Over here we have 
green hall and the stone tower up here. So the tower is a really big part of campus because there's some big bells up there about students. You can join a club and learn how to play the bells. So you'll hear them practicing throughout the, throughout the day. Um, and there'll be some nice fun scenes as you walk in to a fun talk. So if you have any questions, feel free to interrupt at any time. Um, we're really trying to like, focus on the student experience and the student aspect. Um, so our questions about admission and final stage, you can ask the admission counselors when we get back to the Office, so like volunteering. But basically, here I'm going to talk a little bit about the academic experience at Wellesley and what liberal arts college means in our context. At so, does anyone know what liberal arts means or like have an idea of it? Anyone? You can say some ideas. Okay. So basically, liberal arts means that you're going to take a wide variety of courses and then go deep into a couple areas of study that you're interested in. But it's really about encouraging you to have a bunch of different academic disciplines in your toolkit for when you go out and graduate um, afterwards. So at Washington we called a core curriculum where everyone is taking you know, the same English 101 class or biology, whatever it is. And some colleges have an open curriculum, which is like there's no requirements and you just have to take any classes that you're interested in. And Wellesley, as you can imagine, is very much in the middle of this. So we have something called distribution requirements. So those are basically buckets of areas of study. So we have like a mathematical modeling one or a social behavioral analysis. So these are just fancy terms for your general subjects that you think of when you go to school. But there's tons and tons of courses that you can take to fulfill each of those requirements. So within those buckets, there's over a thousand courses at Wellesley to choose from, as well as all of the courses at our cross-registered institutions. So a little bit about that. We're cross-registered with MIT, um, Babson, which is a local business school, Olin, which is a local engineering school, and Brandeis, which is another liberal arts school in the area. So what that means is you can cross-register and take any course that you're interested in at those schools, one per semester. Um, besides your first semester, we really want you to acclimate to the Wellesley environment. Um, and I really think of those as not necessarily a backdoor to getting into those colleges, because you can only take one per semester, but a great way to supplement your educational experience here, which of course is very um, distinct to Wellesley with other colleges, so maybe you're interested in what it's like to sit in a 200 person research or like um, lecture hall, which we definitely don't have here, but you can do that at other colleges, so I think that's always fun. But more about what the Wellesley experience is like, we really encourage students to take a wide variety of courses and step outside of their comfort zone, and one way that I really enjoy and I think is super unique, and I definitely didn't think about when I was coming to college, but it really does matter, is that transition from high school to your first semester in college. Everyone is coming from different high schools, different education levels, um, different
to the new as we walk through.
Yeah. great time to talk about Wellesley as a women's college and what that means. So first of all, Wellesley is a women's college, but it's not an all women's college, it's not an all girls school. We do have a lot of gender diversity on campus. Um, that's why you'll see a lot of people introduce themselves with their pronouns. So it's important to acknowledge that there is this diversity on campus, but the women's college foundation and Still very, very important to your experience here. So as you notice, like as we're going through all these buildings, you have all these names everywhere. And they're all named after women. Most of them are alumni of the college. Really, just wherever you go, you do feel like there you you don't feel out of place because of up at this big hill. This is Stead Hill. So Severance is the dorm up there. You can see all these marks. People have been sledding since yesterday when the snow fell. I might go sledding tonight. We call it traying because back in the day when the dining halls had trays, people would use those to go sledding on the hill. And it's part of the Wellesley 100, which is like this bucket list of things that you should do while you're here at Wellesley. And this is a very popular one. It's a really steep hill. Um, hopefully, I don't get injured. <laughs> and just for a sense of place, right back up there is the academic quad. So everything is very close. You can go to and from the library to the academic quad. And up here are the dorms, some of the dorms. So everything is pretty close by. This 
from Lake Wabed. It is our lovely, beautiful lake on campus, home to a lot of our different traditions. So when you're a senior and you're ready to graduate, um, everyone puts on their hat and gown and they get a hoop, an old wooden hoop. Usually it's passed down through um, different orgs that you're involved in or whatever it may be. And you do hoop rolling, which apparently is this old fashioned game. I don't really know. And you do hoop rolling from, um, I forget where on campus, but it ends right here at the lake. Whoever wins the race gets thrown into the lake. Um, and there's some other traditions that have to do with the lake. But you have to come to those ways to find out what they're all about. But I really like having it on campus because there's just a lot of, I mean, if you have any of these dorms, you literally have a lake. You can do kayaks, the sailboat, um, get them from the boathouse and go out on the lake whenever it's open. One professor during COVID even had his office hours out on the lake, socially distanced on the kayak. I don't think I would have done very well with that, but um, it's fun. I live in the Quint, which is all the way up near Lulu, those big dorms with the turret towers. Um, a lot of athletes live there because it's close to our um, sports center. We have Stone Davis, which is all the way where the admissions office is past Cloud Library. Very, very big hall at Stone and Davis. Um, and that will be through east side of Davis, and right now we're at Western And then the new dorms are out near the Science Center, so a lot of people to stab a little bit it's going to be a little bit more quiet on this side than west side. But they all have really their own personality and their own community feel. As a first year, you're not allowed to choose one of your roommates and randomly all the time you get a of everything. You are allowed to take your roommate with you and choose, like most colleges, the actual system survey, the whole, the whole deal. But you could go random, um, use the survey to pick someone, talk to someone, or if you find someone on social media or before you want, you know you want to live with them, you can choose them as a too. But all first years you will have rotation. You will be in most likely a double. There are future closing pods, but it's really mostly doubles. There really isn't a typical room setup at one point because the rooms are so old. I do know. 